Welcome back to Patriot Network TV. I want to talk to you about the debt ceiling deal. Now, it is critically important to understand how dishonest Washington, D.C., the House, the Senate, the President has been with the American taxpayer for the last hundred years. First of all, there are no cuts in this so-called $2.4 trillion deal, this alleged cut in government spending. There has been a reduction in the rate of growth. There has not been an actual cut. We collected $2.2 trillion in taxes this year. We had a deficit of $1.6 trillion. That adds up to $3.8 trillion. The next budget is not going to be less. It's going to be more. Now, I want you to understand how this has happened. Over a period of decades, over the last eight decades of Marxist incrementalist thought by the Democrat Party and their friends in the left, left, left wing. By the way, there was a news story today that the very first group to endorse President Obama's 2012 run for the White House is the American Communist Party. What an endorsement. You can't live without the communists saying that you should be president again. This 80 year period from basically the 30s through 2011 has led to a budgeting system that is on its face dishonest. Anyone who's a certified public accountant or a certified managerial accountant, anyone who's ever worked in the private sector knows if they ran their books the way the U.S. federal government does, they'd be in prison now. The U.S. federal government makes Bernie Madoff look like a piker. The Social Security Trust Fund, so-called, there's not a penny, not a dime. I got more money in my pocket than Social Security Trust Fund has in terms of money. What they have are U.S. Treasury bills, special obligation bills that are to be sold when they're needed. Now, there's a hundred trillion dollars of unfunded liability in Medicare and Medicaid for the boomers. Unfunded liability, another 50, 60 trillion in unfunded liability for Social Security for the boomers, for those of us born between 46 and 64. The baseline budget process does this. Basically, the baseline is now an 8% increase. So let's say that you are supposed to have, you had a trillion dollars this year and next year you're going to have 1.2 trillion. The Republicans come to town, the Democrats are going to give you 1.2 trillion, the Republicans come to town, they say no, it's going to be 1.1 trillion. You claim you cut my budget a hundred billion dollars. No, it went from a trillion to 1.1 trillion, you got a hundred billion dollar increase. That's the way the game is played in DC with baseline budgeting. If we could freeze the federal budget right now today, over the next decade, we'd save $9.3 trillion minimum. As it is, the most anybody's talking about quote unquote saving is about $4 trillion. Ryan's original budget was talking about $6 trillion. But that doesn't, there is no real savings there. That's like you went out to buy a Mercedes Benz and one, one lot had your 240D for $50,000, another lot had it for forty six, dollars and you go, well, I got to buy it here. It's $4,000 savings. No, it's not $4,000 savings. You laid out $46,000 instead of fifty. dollars It's a decrease in the rate of increase, okay? The baseline budget is the single most dishonest thing that goes on in Washington, D.C., and it goes on to fool you, to, to defraud you of your money. Now, I want to speak in terms of one particular member of the House of Representatives. I want to speak about Colonel Allen West. Colonel West is one of my personal heroes. He is a great man. He gave honorable, heroic service to our country. He put his life on the line in combat. He led his men with honor and distinction. He went into the House of Representatives to continue to serve his country. Now, there are a group of harridans and whores and uh, gutter snipes and Jezebels and uh, it, what other horrible thing, what other horrible name could I call these people? Anyone who can think of it, email me with it. I despise the women in the Democrat Party who have attacked Colonel West while staying under the shield of his protection, the honorable service that he gave to this country. They have the audacity to insult him, insult his integrity and call him names. And they don't even have the courage to do it to his face. They do it behind his back. Now, having said that, I want you to pray for Colonel West. I want you to pay for Colonel West. Colonel West is going to face a huge assault by the far left in the next election. 
Colonel West is going to be vilified by them as a radical, as an extremist. And even the Tea Party is going to be angry because he came in and said in a practical sense, we control part of one house of the Congress, we don't have the Senate, we don't have the White House. I'm going to go for the practical, the achievable, and go with this deal. Many folks are mad at Colonel West. I would urge you to consider that Colonel West is a man of honor, he's a man of principle, and he has done more to make this country safe than any five people I can think of in the House of Representatives or the U.S. Senate. I would urge you to continue to support Colonel West and to pray for him every day, pray for his safety, pray for his strength. If you've got a few extra dollars, send it to him. His campaign is going to need it. He is a good man. We need many, many more just like Colonel West. Alrighty, folks. God bless you. God bless the USA.